how to use the 3D ligand editor to dock to an APO structure. In most cases, you're using the ligand editor to optimize a lead compound that's co-crystallized, but in some cases, you may want to dock a ligand to an APO structure to start with and then optimize the ligand. So in this case, I've read in an APO structure, it has a, the A chain and the waters. I go to the lig edit tab where all the ligand editor functions are. I ignore the first button because that's set up ligand. We don't have a ligand to set up. The second button is to set up receptor. So click on that. Receptor object is here. Choose wh whether you want to delete waters or keep all waters or keep tight waters. You will need to optimize hydrogens, sparagines and glutamines and you can choose whether or not to mask missing side chains. You c if you had a ligand there, you would use make box around existing ligand. We don't have a ligand. We have identified pocket box. This uses ICM pocket finder and it will find uh, some binding pockets. So you see that we have actually two and um, so currently our purple box only encompasses one of them so we may want to increase the size of it this purple box to encompass this red one um, we can make it a bit smaller whatever here so you can see it encompasses both pockets um, then you can just go OK Let's build the maps. Now go to the third button along, click on the molecular editor tool here in the, in the ligand editor. I'm going to use the dictionary and choose a type uh, 2 Gleevec uh, kinase inhibitor. I'm just going to charge it um, correctly, auto assign charges, and then close. And then it's adding this ligand to the pocket. The ligand is there. I'm just going to undisplay the it's the ligand in, in grey. I'm just going to uh, change the colour of it to, to green just for clarity. Okay, so at the moment it's not fully docked. So to, to do a full docking of that ligand, you go to the lig edit again and then go to dock, redock ligand. This will do a full redocking of your ligand. And then we should get a stack of uh, different confirmations of five uh, different confirmations of the ligand ranked by uh, the, the score here. So the first one is displayed. Then we'll display the second one, double click, third one, double click. We can toggle multiple ones on and off using these uh, buttons here. And uh, that's it. So uh, if you want to, so just to go back to the first one again, just double click here and um, it's it is displayed, it's in the uh, project. If you want to close the project out and assemble a uh, complex APO, which is because it's really cool with dock ligand or something. Um, it will merge the receptor and ligand into one. You can also save a PDB file. Just go OK. And then we have we have a we have a new object called dock ligand with our ligand bound to the receptor.